Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So, uh, in this video, I'm reviewing the Harley Davidson 2019 Sport Glide. Look at that thing. Yeah, basically, I'm get this, taking this out for a test ride. Have a quick look at that. Revelator Alf. Now it's got the uh, Milwaukee 8 engine uh, in it. It's got 107 cubic inches, which in uh, British speak is uh, 1745 odd cc. Uh, packs a bit of a punch. Just ridden it here from the dealer. Uh, it, you know, cruises quite well. Um, I don't like the front of it. I really don't. But this is actually detachable. Uh, it's really, you just couple of clips and away it goes. And then it looks actually really cool. The bars for me are too low. So I would put some ape hangers on it, just mini apes, you know, 12, uh, 14 inch, something like that. And that would raise it up to sort of shoulder height. And I think then it would be a kick-ass bike. Um, I would have a little look at this. I'm um, just the, the wheels, these kind of mag type wheels, really nice. I like that. It sounds anemic as all Harleys do without the stage one. But do you know what? I actually quite like it. The bags on the back make it more practical. And these and these bags, literally just one clip, they come off. And actually, without the bags, they look all right as well. 18-odd um, litre fuel tank, one side filler cap. So you're going to get a good uh, 180, 200 miles out of it. It looks a lot better. Dual seat as well, and take the uh, pillions pegs and it's just coming in at um what 15 odd grand uh for like a base model so actually you know and that's a vivid black you can have different color combinations and all that kind of stuff but actually it's not bad at all is it really anyway it's all chrome casings and everything um you know it's a black engine but obviously with all the casings on the outside uh, it's all chrome. I'm not really into chrome, but I would accept that for what you know for what it was. I'd have the black bike myself. I wouldn't have uh, any of the color combinations. You know, I wouldn't be riding around with this. I've already seen. You know, it takes a little bit of wind off the rider, but not that much, in all fairness. Um, so if you're going on long rides, just wear a full face helmet. If you're going on short rides, just wear an open face helmet. If you're not really into having a lot of wind in your face and everything. Right, let's get on it and go and ride. That's, that's the only thing to do, really. Right. Get that. So basically, you've got a keyless start. Well, you've got a key, but you just keep that uh, in, your, uh, in your pocket. Take off the kill switch. I always feel like the hard is that the, the starter engine and battery power just isn't enough. Do you know what I mean? To start it, it almost feels like you've got a dead battery, but you know, always, they always kick it into gear. Right. I mean, I say these bars here, they just feel a little low for me. I mean, if you're a tall rider, you do sit proud on top of this bike. Although you've got a low slung seat, I think it's about 600 mil, 650 mil. Um, there we go. You see, look, that guy's got apes on it, and it actually it brings up the shoulder height a little bit better, you know. As I say, you know, it's got the it's got the um, the standard uh, exhaust on it, and it does make it sound a bit anemic. But you still get that throaty rasp as you accelerate. But it is almost a little bit uh, stealth-like as well. So now some people don't like that. I actually like it. I mean, the guy said Are you're looking for a stage one. I said, you know what? Right now, I'm not. Let's just see how it goes. Uh, look, I mean, it'll definitely get up to. 60 and fourth, no dramas. You can pull it away. Fifth, sixth. I know it'll, you know, this is not a speed machine, but what I'm saying, it's got a lot of torque on it and it's really stable. It's really planted. This is the new frame, the soft tail frame that a lot of these bikes, Harleys, have gone for now. And it's stiff. It's I mean, it, it's no flexing. Lots of balance. A good balance as well. I mean, Harleys I've ridden before, you know, they kind of wallowed a little bit. They kind of, you know, you go around a corner and you think, oh, what the hell's all that about? 
but this feels good. Now, a mate of mine told me about this. He said, if you're going to try a Harley, the street bar's fantastic, but try this new Sport Glide. And i tell you what, it, it's not bad. It's got these forward-mounted controls, controls that don't feel out of place. Nice, comfortable seat. So you're actually sat in it. It's got a you know a pillion seat, but it's sort of raised as well. So it actually gives you coccyx at the base of your spine, just a little bit of extra you know back support, as it were. Yeah, and I look, it look, it rolls through the bends and it picks up speed really easily. You know, I'm in fifth gear now, just chugging along. 60 miles an hour chuggling on this is a comfortable ride i've got to say and it's a nice ride as well brakes harley brakes are always awful aren't they but do you know what they seem to have managed to control this a little bit yeah i mean look that's just on the front brake there yeah that's on the rear brake I and mean, that is that is definitely slowing it down uh quite convincingly let's put it that way Okay, let's just come off here and uh, see what it is. As I say, so for a, you know, put this into a bank here like that. I mean, I mean, definitely this bike is, uh, is not a sports bike. Of course it isn't. But I'll tell you what it does do. It rolls through the bends quite nicely and it, it keeps its line as well. It's not as if it's dropping into the bend or trying to pull you out of it. And it's not as if it's, you know, uh, rolling around. I think the trail on this, both of this has got a 30 degree rake on it. And I think it's a 150 millimeter trail. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll put the specs up on the, on the bike afterwards. Uh, so, or in the description, so you can kind of see the whole thing, if you know what I mean. Uh, but, it makes it feel planted in a straight line, but actually it's a good compromise for the bends as well. Look, I'm not a Harley guy. You know, I've, I've ridden quite a few in my time, but I've never owned one. This is my first time, which I've really contemplated seriously, you know, going for it because I want a road bike and my off-road riding adventures, I'm gonna get a smaller Enduro bike. So this is gonna work really well for me this kind of bike and you know what the harley you can't beat a harley street appeal you know that turning heads i think with just a little bit of mild customization on this bike to, uh you know higher mini ape bars uh get rid of this naff fairing which i'm sure some people out there will love i don't i just don't like it at all uh you know they will uh and I think it would look really cool. Um, still got the clunky clutch as all as all uh, Harleys do. It does sort of clunk into gear. And I gotta say, this clutch is a little bit early as well. So, you know, it'll sort of uh, grip quite quickly, even just releasing just a little bit of pressure. I mean, that can be adjusted, I'm sure. Slow speed, I mean, it's very comfortable here. So you're stuck behind a load of Sunday drivers. Look, it's a cruiser. I mean, this is where it comes into its own, this kind of bike. Um, I think, you know, you get onto these bikes and you think, yeah, a lot of people would see these like a Sunday or weekend ride. For me, that's why I'm looking at the sports, Sport Glide because it's got this practicality, which I like, with the bags. Um, it's got a USB uh, charging port station right here, so you could just put a, uh, an extra lead up and clip it onto your handlebars, something like that. Um, you know, so you've got the bags, you've got online charging or, or on road charging for your phone or your camera or whatever it is. I'm sure I came down here last year and it was just open fields and where all these buildings and stuff have come from, I have no idea. It looks good. I mean, it, the bike looks good. If you look at the profile pictures of it, it actually looks good. Uh, as I say, I don't like the fairing. I don't like the, the low uh, handlebars. But in saying that, it does fit the bike. 
you know it does fit the, uh, the the seat in position you are comfortable I person as a personal preference I just like my my uh, hand height just a little bit higher uh, but I've got to say it is a nice ride what I will say that what I've already noticed a very slow speed uh, you know let's say going like a roundabout to an injunction the the, the front tire just does want to turn in, so it kind of turns in for you. But you don't feel that at a higher speed around the bend. It's just a very slow speed. It almost wants to cave in on itself a little bit. But look, the, you know, this is great in terms of just chugging along and um, just sticking in one gear, sort of lazy riding, I, I tend to call it, or, or um, energy free riding let's put it that way you know you can just stick on one gear and just chug along quite neat, nicely in third or fourth gear you know for riding around once you get onto the big road you know the open road then you you know you'll find it on fifth or sixth stuff like that look we're not talking this bike do 150 miles an hour but you know 70 80 miles an hour it will do and it will do very comfortably and it will do it very well and you're not going to feel any kind of after effects of it either. And so far, I'm not getting a kind of this pelvic numbness, which I often get with uh, with uh, Harleys or Cruiser bikes. You know, I'm, 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 I actually feel really comfortable on this. So it's all right. It's all right. Right. So let's see if I can get past this car and get into a bit of open road here. As I say, it doesn't sound very throaty, but it's it's enough. Um, you do sound like a little bit of a, an old VW bug, uh, Beetle, um, a little bit uh, with these sort of bikes. Um, they're not. This is not just Harley's. This is all kind of cruisery bikes of this kind of tone which they which they give the exhaust. You know, and the, the you know the old twin, the twin engines. You know, kind of give it that kind of VW bug sound. Um, I always like that sound. You know, I wasn't really. Uh, um, you know, I, I say I'm not really into the loud pipes type thing. I like them, but. I think I always look at it from my lifestyle and I kind of come and go, I like to come and go quite quietly where I live, I like to you know go and do my own thing quite quietly so I like being a bit stealthier but I gotta say there is nothing like being a bit obnoxious every now and again uh, with a with a you know with a noisy exhaust. I mean it picks up really well here on the uh, acceleration so what we're doing, we're just doing uh, less than less than 30 miles an hour right now, just just about 30, well, just 30 miles an hour, I should say. This is in a 40. Let's see if I can get past this car here. But it's good. It's nice. You sat comfortably. You sat in a you know typical Harley armchair. Pound for pound, this is probably going to be one of the better buys, I think. Uh, if you're looking for a bike that's a bit practical, you know, you can t commute on it, you can put your stuff in it. If you need to carry a bit of stuff, you can go on there. If you don't want to carry a pillion, or you meet somebody, you want to give them a ride, or whatever it is, or, you know, your girlfriend, your wife, you want to sit on the back, or a friend, or whatever it is, you know, you've got the seat there. It's, yeah, it's not the biggest seat, the standard seat uh, is not the biggest, uh, but in terms of those occasional rise of pillions, it's, it's, you know, it's fine. Uh, got a bit of extra uh, on the back there behind the seat, so, you know, you can strap uh, sleeping bags to it and rucksacks and all that kind of stuff. What I would say is because, you know, all the paintwork and everything, if you can start doing that, what I even said to the guy in the dealership, because I already noticed that the bags, these uh, boxes on the back, I've already got a few scuff marks where people have been cocking their logo over. But what I would say is, that if you're going to get this bike, what, what I would do is actually uh, do a bit of a vinyl wrap uh, on uh, the boxes and on the tail pieces, just so if you're going to start sticking bags on there and all that kind of stuff, then at least, um, at least you've got uh, some protection there. Oh, 
this is nice. I mean, it rolls through the bends. I mean, you know what? It actually is good. It's good. It rolls through the bends really nicely. Yeah, I'm not doing great speeds, but you don't need to do great speeds on this. You just enjoy the ride, enjoy that feeling, you know? It's like you sweep, you, you kind of sweep through the bends as opposed to, you know, really charge at them. And it's just nice balance, as I say, you're not, you're not falling into it, you're not, uh, you know, you're not uh, scooting around the edge of it, you, you actually just, you pick a line and that's where that line will take you, that's, that's where the bike will go. Okay, I, th I think you can probably tell that I'm quite impressed with the bike. I didn't want to be, that's the thing, I'm a street bob, you know, kind of bloke. You know, I'm minimalist, all that kind of stuff. I love that kind of uh, style. But this bike is, riding-wise, it is a good bike. Change a couple of things with the bars, and I think you'll be impressed with it. I'd even accept the chrome accent pieces on it. Not really my thing, of course, but I'd accept that. Got not, I haven't got a problem with that. Um, but it, it just goes up and down through the gears really quite nicely. Let me just go this way. So yeah, in slow, really slow corners, uh, the front tyre does want to dig in and it pulls you in. It almost pulls the handlebars left or right, depending on which way you're going. So watch out for that. And uh, you know, this happens with kind of newish tyres and newish bikes anyway. You know, always kind of pulls you in on the bends until they bed in a little bit. But that's definitely a phenomenon on this bike. Oh, look at this beauty. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to go down this way. I have actually no idea where I'm going, but we'll give it a go. Beautiful countryside. Look, open it up. Already up to 60. Oh yeah, look, not sports bike performance, but it's good enough. Nice. Now I will say that you gotta, with all these kind of Harleys and uh, cruiser bikes, you gotta, you gotta judge your overtaking quite right you know at the right time because you just don't have the performance there to quick do a really fast and nimble overtake but in saying that still still really good and that's where you find that you have to be a bit more energetic on the controls to actually uh, get this thing going a slow speed it's a lot of talk but if you want that quick acceleration to get by things, then you have to kind of knock it down and really start to, you know, go through it a little bit more. Ah, oh, road's closed, hold on. Or is it? Look, you've got the sun shining, the sun bleeds through the trees, it's always a great ride, isn't it? But I've got to say, on this, it's really nice as well. beauty as I say it just roll through the bends you know a higher speed bends really nicely and you, you feel stable on it you feel planted to the ground 
you got that lower riding position of course yeah the front forward controls don't feel um, too too bad you know I'm six foot one uh, so I think for a taller rider I think they're just right maybe a short rider might have a few issues here but that's always the same with any bike you've got to measure yourself up to that particular bike and see how you get on you know great thing about these Harleys is that it's, it brings back a rawness to your riding it brings back that it, it is all about sensation it's not about performance it's about feeling it's a motive with Harley and that's what it's all about it's it's got nothing to do with performance because let's face it if you wanted a performance bike you wouldn't pick up a Harley it's not what it's about look at this thing okay all right let me just check this Beauty. Right, I say it just rolls through. What's she doing? Blimey. Right, ah, oh, they're picking up litter on the side of the road. Well done. Well done. Oh, that's good. Right then. Just realised I've probably got loads of wind on my microphone. So apologies for that. Like chugging along here really nicely. Gotta say. This is a beautiful ride, as I say, and we're conscious of this pulling in now as you go to the tight turns. Yeah, it definitely does turn in. The bike really does want at the front. Steering really does turn in at slower speeds. You've got to watch that. What I will say on the right-hand side here, as you put your, your knees in to grip the tank, I mean, that's kind of what I do anyway, uh, from the old sports bike days, um, you kind of, your, your uh, calf is really ch uh, pressing against the air filter, the air intake there, cover. I mean, it's not painful, but it's just that you can feel it there. So you kind of have to, you know, wide spread, uh, ride spread eagle a little bit just to, uh, counter that but look you're not you're not talking about wanting to maintain aerodynamics here but I, I can imagine on the long ride that'd be a bit of a pain in the ass now what I will say is if this is very comfortable I'm not getting a numb feeling as I say it's riding really nice brakes are good uh, for what this is and this is a heavy lump you know we are talking over 300 kilos I think your wet weight I think is 320 odd kilos plus the weight of the uh, plus the weight of the rider you know however heavy you are you know that's gonna you know we're talking 380 plus you know 400 kilos uh, 420 kilos that's a lot I mean if you if you drop this you know that's a big old heavy lump to pick up as well uh, so bear that in mind I mean, hopefully you'll never drop it of course but you know what I mean but the interesting thing is, although it's really heavy, you don't feel it. You don't feel how heavy this bike is when you're riding it. It actually feels, yeah, it feels heavy, but it feels nimble as well. I sound like a bloody Harley uh, salesman, don't I? But it's, I'm, you know, I, I don't want to be. I'm just trying to give you an honest opinion of what it is. Yeah, pull on a bit of speed here. You know. Look, it sounds decent, it sounds right, it pulls right. It, it's good, it's good. I think if you wanted the stage one tuning and the, you know, the exhaust and everything, the air filter, ch changing, the mapping, whatever, 
I think that will uh, work well. And this is obviously no carbs anymore. It's all uh, electronic fuel injection on this one as well. I say, you know, it is this 107 cubic inch thing. I can never get my head around that. That's 1745 cc's. It's, you know, it's a it's a big old lump of an engine. You know, it's got lots of torque. It's doing the business. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm just, the more I ride it, the more I'm forgiving uh, what I what I kind of dislike about it. You know, the chrome and the low bars and the you know because at the mirrors as they are, you got good vision out the mirrors as well. I thought that you know usually your arm gets in the way, but actually no, they're they're just about right. I think on a Harley you're. You're more content just to sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Whereas on a sports bike, you're more eager to get past. It's kind of a natural phenomenon that happens. It's a psychological thing. This is not a, I mean, I've written about this before. You know, it's the way you sit on a bike, you know, your riding position, the what the bike is kind of lends itself to how you ride that bike and how you uh, want to get past, uh, you know, other vehicles. Because you're on a cruiser bike here, you tend to adopt that cruiser mentality. You know, it's just, it's nice. I like it. I think you, as you get more, there we go. Well, I'll tell you what, you pick your right moment and it's actually not bad at all. Looky Lou around the, around the corner here. Thing is you've got a sweeping right bend here so yeah there you go look typical but the more you ride it the more you're going to be uh, more confident about overtaking and fitting through narrow gaps you know and just uh you know when you're filtering you know commuting and that kind of thing you're just going to feel more confident about it well a tractor behind a tractor i suppose that's what they call them don't they it doesn't feel very tractor like it feels a lot more refined that. And that's what they've done with this, uh, you know, with this frame now, this bike frame. They've stiffened everything up. It rides a lot better. It rides great, you know. The performance is what it is, but it, you know, it's just the way it feels on the road. I was told this by a friend, and do you know what? He was bang on. He was absolutely right. It feels good. It feels good to ride Harleys. They've, they've sorted this out. You know, the only thing I think you've got to be concerned about now, uh, if you're a Harley rider or buying a new Harley, is not, it's about just the way it looks. You're the particular style, but in terms of the rideability of it, I think it's good. I like it. I think you'd be pleased with it. And I think you're, you're looking at this new technology. Now I am, look, I am a, a bit of a Luddite when it comes to technology and stuff. I just can't be doing with keeping up with the Joneses and all that kind of nonsense. <laughs> I'm not having any, I stick with something, that's it, I'm happy with that. But do you know what, this, this actually feels right. It feels good, they sorted it out, you can ride it, you can, you know, ride it a bit hard. Obviously, the fuel consumption is going to go down because they're not great on fuel, are they? But, you know, you can chug along, you can cruise along. You know, you can you can get the overtakes if you uh, time it just right. And it's pr this one, the Sport Glide, it's practical as well. You've got a bike that's got bags. You can take, uh, you know, people for a ride as well. Uh, you can strap things to it. The wind, you know, with this, okay, I'm wearing a full face helmet, of course, you know, but if, if you're concerned about wind, just wear a full face helmet. But this, you know, the visor, sorry, the fairing does keep the wind off you quite, quite well, I, I would say. You still feel it, of course, but, you know, you feel it quite well. But it's very easy to detach. You've got one clip down here, one clip down there, and you literally just clip it off and away it goes.
that rasp of that engine you, you knock it down a couple of gears and away you go and this thing pulls this thing really does pull and you can feel it it's 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 an odd it's a different sensation to other bikes in that you're not feeling it in your shoulders or your or your your um on your hands you know on the handlebars you're not feeling it in your feet where you're feeling it and if you ride these bikes you kind of know what I'm where I'm coming from you feel it in your core you feel it in your pelvis where you're sat and that's where your center of mass should be that's where you're feeling it right I'm oh crikey I'm a bloody Harley convert aren't I yeah that's true I think I am I think I am now I just got to decide which bike I like What I will say about the Harleys and this clutch, it's a very early clutch, you've kind of got to lead just a little bit extra uh, with the throttle, otherwise you're likely to just to stall it. Just lead just a, a couple of extra revs um, and it feels as if it will want to stall because of this very early clutch. Right then, so, bit of urban riding, bit of back road riding, this Sport Glide has been really good. Now let's just check it on the uh, on the motorway. Picks up really nicely, up to speed. Thanks for pulling out on me there. That's fine. Let me give them a bit of space between the two. Now I'm going to check this. Uh, it's got cruise control as well. So you just push it, push it and hold it. That's it, push it and hold it, and actually just keep them at 70 miles an hour now. Yeah, and basically all you do to disengage it, so you reach your speed, engage it, turns green on the dash here, let go of the controls, and then disengage it, either a brake, any brake. Yep. Uh, front brake, rear brake, or the throttle. So conventional uh, cruise control there. Look, you're feeling the wind, there's no doubt. But this fairing does help. So I think this bike, this Sport Glide, if you're riding it around the street, my advice would be, if you're not too keen on the, um, the aesthetics of this uh, fairing, just take it off. Take it off and have it more like a bobber style, if you know what I mean. Strip back style. Uh, and just ride around the street, take the bags off and away you go. But if you want to go somewhere, you might as well just put this fairing on because this little lip here would come up. Now, also what I've been told is that this, you can actually get a different insert here because it's just like four or five uh, screws here and you just get a higher one. The higher one I think comes up to about here. Um, it's not standard, obviously you have to pay for it. Um, but that takes the wind off even more. So I think, you know, if it's a, if you're going to do a lot of long journeys, uh, especially motorway riding, I think, you know, there we go. Right, there we go. Right. Engage this. Really nice, really easy. This is the cruise control. So once you increase your throttle, you want to increase, you just re-engage it, the cruise control, press it again. Do you know what? It's a very simple cruise control, but very effective. There's no bleeping up or down or anything like that. It's just, you know, just do it. Whatever speed you want, just set it and it captures that information and away you go. I'm cruising along right now at 75 miles an hour. Uh, it's uh, it's nice, yeah, you're feeling the wind on your shoulders, uh, you're feeling the wind uh, a little bit, you know, around your neck and everything, but I say, full face helmet, not really much of a problem, but you are into the wind a little bit, but the core of your body is planted into the seat, the bike feels planted on the road, it's not wobbling around, it's not flexing, you know, it's it's good, it feels good. And this is fifth gear, sixth gear, let's have a look here. 
Well, what I can say is, I won't tell you what speed I was doing, but it's um, regulation speed, take my word for it. In top gear, six gear, it pulls like a train. That's all I'm gonna say. What I will say is, go and take this bike out for a ride, you will be impressed. You will be impressed by the way it rides on the back roads, in town, wherever you want to ride it, and you'll be bloody well impressed on the motorway as well. It's got... Do you know what I, you know, this is what I talk about proper bikers or proper motorbikes. I have the same thing. You know what? It's proper. That's all you can say. You ride this bike and think, yeah. Oh yeah, that's proper, that is. And for those of you who know what I'm on about, you, you know what I'm talking about. There's no bullshit. There's no, uh, you know, sales uh, spiel. There's no uh, trying to pretend that something that it's not. It's proper. It does what it says on the tin, and it does it really, really well. Look, I mean, look at this. It's pulling. It's pulling like a train. And you know, I've just got into six gear now, just to cruise it out. But it's pulling through every single gear. Right, let's see when it gets into the nationals. Well, I've got some fast cars ahead of me. They all look fast types. Right, I'm in six gear now. So let me just see how it operates in to just complete six gear. He's off the speed a little bit. Right, you open up the throttle and there is a bit of a lag, but it does pull. It catches up with itself within a split second and it starts to pull again. It's almost like the sixth gear is for real highway riding. Do you know what I mean? It's for higher speed riding. Otherwise, you're never going to use it, uh, uh, you know, normal road riding. Check on the cruise control, press and hold. Disengage, very easy, very easy cruise control. This bike, more than any other bike, and more than any other Harley, I should say, how can I put this? Uh, it, it ticks a lot of boxes, a lot of road riding boxes for a lot of people. For your average rider. Your average rider is not a, a, a sports bike track day guy. Uh, you know, he just wants to ride his bike backwards and forwards, commuting, going out with his friends, enjoying life, whatever. This ticks a lot of boxes in that you can carry stuff on it, you can carry people on it, it's comfortable. You can ride this all day and you're not going to have a problem. It feels good, it looks good. You know, you've got your wind in your hair if you had any, uh, that kind of thing. It's just, it feels right. And this is from a non-Harley person, it feels right. And you know, you get to a certain age possibly, or you want to change in direction. And I think, you know, this is the kind of bike that I would say is affordable, certainly on, you know, finance deals, it's definitely affordable. And you know, it's the business. It is definitely the business. It's been a joy to ride. What can I say? It's been a joy to ride. Really good. I still think it'd be better with uh, uh, taller bars, Mini X on there. I still think that. I still think it'd be better. Um, there are a couple of things that they probably need to do uh, in terms of the uh, the boxes. Maybe uh, just put a bit of a, more of a protective coating on there. Uh, maybe put a little rack on the back uh, behind the pillion seat just so you can strap stuff to it as a standard option. 
but it's it's a great bike i mean if you're road riding i say now i go off-road riding at all as well but you know what as i say you can take any bike anywhere and as long as it's a flat hard trail this will go anywhere as well especially in the summer no dramas and it just rolls through the bends it really does i mean it's it's deceptive how how well it does roll through the bends Flick it right, flick it left. It's doing it, it's doing it well. All right. Well, that is pretty much a damn good ride. I've got to say that. It's been really good. This is a bit wobbly. That needs tightening up. But you can ride this. Yeah, you could ride this quite hard all day, every day, no problem. Don't like the fairing, still don't like it. Take that off, put higher bras on it. That would be a, a really cool ride. Anyway, so I'll put all the details in the description below, what I say. From a non-Harley person, I actually like it. I like it standard, you know, with those pipes as they are. I like it quite quiet. Right. Well, hope you found this useful. <laughs> hope you like it. Uh, as I say, you know, check out uh, me in the future, what I decide to go for. Uh, but uh, very impressed with it. Very impressed with it. It's an all-round bike. Right. Check out the website revelatoralf.com. Subscribe to the channel, that'd be really cool. And uh, check out on Patreon, Revelator Alpha as well, that'd be really good. Right, turn on now. <laughs>